as the Dow Jones heads for its fifth straight week of losses. We're going to take a peek at the major indices and where they are versus their all-time highs. I'll give you a hint, they are all down. As this war with Russia and Ukraine rages on, what does that mean for the broader market, commodities, prices, things like that? That's what we're going to talk about in this video, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Richard Allen with Tip Ranks TV. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Remember, you can find exclusive original content from us on tipranks.com slash TV. So go ahead and check that out. Let me know down in the comments when you do. And, uh, and thank you guys for wishing me well down in the comments. I asked for some of you to find a, a lozenge emoji um, and nobody was able to find that, but some of you found like a little Kleenex emoji, which is pretty cute. So thank you for the well wishes down there. Uh, the, the markets are still absolutely crazy. So the Dow is down five straight weeks in a row unless a big recovery happens today, which it doesn't look like it will. Uh, but we're going to talk about where the major indices are uh, from all time highs. They are all down quite a bit. But let's take a peek over at tipranks.com. S&P 500 down slightly today, 0.09%. The Dow Jones up slightly today, up 0.49%, and the NASDAQ down as well, down almost 1% on the day. The S&P 500 overall, since hitting all-time highs back on January 4th, is down 10.5% into correction territory, but recovering a little bit over the past few days. The Dow Jones is down almost 10%, almost into correction territory. Correction territory is 10% down on a major indice. Now the NASDAQ is well within correction territory, down 18.5% from setting all-time highs back in November of 2021. So the major indices are all getting pummeled right now. But I want to know how you guys feel in general. We've talked about it a lot in the comments over the past several weeks. What are you guys doing? Are you selling? Are you buying? Are you just holding on for dear life? And it seems like most of you guys are holding and looking for opportunities. So knowing that most of you guys are holding, let me know how you feel about the markets right now. Does this war with Russia and Ukraine change your opinion? Because it seems to be dragging on a lot longer than uh, at least Russia thought it was going to. But what are you guys feeling in the short term? Do you think we're going to see more pain in the short term heading into the FOMC meeting uh, with the Fed next week and them raising rates? Or are we about to see a boom in the markets? Are we hitting the bottom? Let me know how you guys feel. I want to hear from you. And uh, are you still holding? Are you selling? Are you buying? Let me know down in the comments. Real quick, let's touch on Bitcoin down 1.59% today, now under 39,000 per coin. After that executive order from Biden really didn't uh, didn't do much for the cryptocurrency realm, uh, short spike before uh, correcting down again. Ethereum down 1.63% on the day. And a lot of companies down big, Baba down 4.5%, Apple down 2%, Tesla down over 4%. Neo trading under $20, $16 per share, down almost 10% today. Amazon uh, is up on the day. They announced a 20 to 1 stock split. I've been talking about this for a very, very long time, probably about a year. I think this is a much needed stock split. So how stock, stock splits work, it, it fundamentally doesn't change anything about the business. But psychologically, right, if you see a $3,000 price versus a hundred and some dollar price, it's a big psychological factor for a lot of people when they're investing in a stock. They think it's cheaper. But it will also change whether or not people will be willing to buy options because options come in contracts or 100 share bundles. And it's a lot more expensive to do 100 share bundles on a $3,000 stock than it is on a $150 stock or so on, right? So let me know what you guys are doing with Amazon. I ran a poll on my channel just the other day and a lot of people say no, they're not buying Amazon before the split or after. Uh, they think there's more pain to come. So let me know how you guys feel about Amazon leading up to this split. I, I know we are in very different times than we were just uh, you know a couple years ago when Tesla and Apple split. We are in very, very, very different times. So do you guys think that Amazon will go up leading into the split? 
or are they going to just kind of stay flat or actually go down into the splits? Let me know how you're feeling about Amazon. Let's take a peek at what the US, the European Union, and the G7 nations are doing to further strengthen their sanctions against Russia. Biden calls for an end to Russia's most favored nation trade status. And they are looking at potentially removing Russia from the World Trade Organization, which would be a huge blow to Russia and their commodities market, but would also be a huge blow to commodities prices here in the US. We would see even more surge in prices, but it may be the right thing to do if Russia doesn't stop this war in Ukraine. I don't I don't know. What are you what are you guys feeling about this war over there? Obviously, uh, it's taking a huge toll on human life and infrastructure over there. It's really sad what's going on and I know a lot of us are personally affected knowing people that live over there or have family over there. Um, so it's a uh, it's a scary time for sure, but what are you guys what are you guys doing? Are you stressed out more than normal? Are you are you staying calm are you just watching netflix i don't know let me know what you're doing down in the comments i would love to hear from you guys thank you so much for joining me for another video remember julie's on vacation annika filled in for her today i'll be filling in for julie monday tuesday and wednesday next week and then julie should be back on thursday so i'll be up and early and and hopefully uh, my voice doesn't get any worse and i'm i'm sounding like Barry White or something next week. I don't know, but I'll be here. I'll be awake and I'll be here in the morning. So guys, thank you so much. Have a fantastic weekend. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.